first, there's the true crime element, which uh, we co-wrote a movie before this called An American Crime, which was about a true crime. And um, true crime always turns me on. But more so than that, there's a character at the center of this that is incredibly complex and interesting and, and full of contradictions. And any time you get to write a character like that and then as get to bring it to life in a film with, with the incredible Melissa Leo, um, you, you gotta go for it. You know, that, that was, it, was, it was just, um, it, it was such good material. The, the true story was such good material. I couldn't even believe it hadn't been told before this story. What was it like trying to get into her head of what it must have been like to, to be the most hated woman in America? I, it was it was crazy. She did a lot of press. So we had we had reams and reams as we were writing this uh, of, of material and uh, trying to figure out, you know, in interviews and, uh, you know, most of the most outrageous dialogue of the film is stuff she's actually said because we couldn't make that up. But then Tommy had the challenge of working with Melissa to kind of take those words on a page and, and bring them to life in the, you know, in the embodiment of a person as the director, so. Do you think there's a better place to premiere this movie than here? No, because it's, as we said, it starts with a show called Good Morning Austin. It all, most all of it took place here. Um, Austin and San Antonio. Austin and San Antonio. So, um, yeah, it, it's, it's uh, the, the last time um, we were here, we were researching the project. So it's exciting to come back with the finished film now and um, maybe we'll get to explore some more of those nooks and crannies that that um, um, Madeline Murray O'Hare uh, used to hang out in. What do you think about the film versus, uh, compared to some of the things that are going on right now, especially here in the state of Texas with religion being such a big thing? Aside from it being a murder story, do you think that people are going to find some parallels back way then and now? Absolutely. I mean, I, in some ways, it's a blessing that this project took seven years to happen because, you know, we are fighting a battle again for this, you know, between the separation of church and state and how you know, people feel about that. And, and should, should one religion or one, one part of one religion be dominant over every, everybody, everyone else, should we, and I don't think we should, be forced to worship in one way? or worship at all if that's, you know, our pleasure. And so, yeah, it resonates a lot for me and I know for Tommy as well. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. I, I, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's sort of, it's like, it's a yes, absolutely. Issue. Yeah, it's a very complicated issue. And, and in some ways, one thing I hope people take away from the film is, is not to take for granted our, our First Amendment rights because um, she, Madeline Marie O'Hare, really stood up for those and um, for all her faults, uh, she really was uh, a remarkable, remarkable woman that that helped to shape our cult, the, the culture we have today.